Well, hello, rogues! How are you? <laughs> uh, welcome to the rogues gallery, I'm Rogan, and, um, thank you! <laughs> thank you so much, Xanderific, for the raid! Um, I don't know if you got a shout-out. Uh, Kira, thank you for getting Xanderific a shout-out. It's awesome to have you pop in with the fan arrays. Um, I'm, uh, I'm Rogan27, I am a variety streamer and a professional archivist, and I stream here on this channel uh, four times a week. Um, and Kira's already popped that in the chat. Uh, so tonight is uh, Mystery Mischief Monday. So um, I have a spin wheel that was on screen when I came on uh, that decides what game we're going to play um, on Monday nights. And for the last two months, we we've been playing Battletech. Uh, tonight will be the last Battletech stream for a little while. Uh, we will spin the spin the wheel again tonight and find out what we're going to play for Mondays in July. But I am going to be giving away a Steam code for Battletech on the stream tonight. Um, so if you are a follower, you will be able to enter that giveaway uh, for a Steam code for the Battletech game. Um, Wednesdays I do an archives show from the archives and special collections at uh, Virginia Tech where I share materials from the archives. Um, and then on Saturdays, I've been streaming retro games. I've been playing through the Ultima series. And on Sundays, I am playing Mass Effect for the first time ever. So welcome in, everybody. Thank you all for coming by. Um, I do see Lord Portico. Thank you for gifting a sub to Lauren himself. Um, and uh, Maluk and uh, Lauren themselves. thank you so much for the follows. Um, <laughs> it is lovely to have you all here. How was your Monday? Um, my Monday was, was pretty good. And Kira is on top of things tonight. Thank you so much, Kira. Archivist Kira is the bestest mod. Um, keeps me from, um, completely losing track of absolutely everything while I'm streaming. So, uh, big cheers for Kira. Um, wow, so many people. Welcome, everybody. Um, Oh, yes, and uh, Lord Portico, thank you for dropping the credits in. Um, the emotes are from Meaning of Night and Sirius, and then the list of all of my mods are there. Um, <laughs> Ooh, Crimson Skies and the Alternate 30s. I have not. Um, I will have to check that out. Also, hi, Lethal Smile. Welcome. Um, see, now I have, I have a pad of post-it notes here, and I'm writing that down, because Crimson Sky. Um, and uh, just so you know, uh, as with every Monday, um, we will be raiding into queue times at the end of the stream, because I am a huge, huge fan of the Streampunks, 
Um, and tonight is the last Monday of the month, so it will be Blood of the Void, uh, the Klingon Star Trek Adventures game uh, DM'd by Aliza Pearl uh, with a wonderful, wonderful cast. Um, they play once a month, and it's always a treat to get uh, Klingon Day. So that is going to be happening at the end of the stream. Um, Crimson Skies is made by the same people who made Battletech, so Hairbrain Schemes. Uh, impression doesn't end. U.S. breaks up into like, and air pirates. Yeah, I will have to take a look at that. I had not heard of that, but it sounds interesting. <laughs> and yes, Kira needs to make a coffee, uh, so that people can um give her thanks in the proper manner. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna pull up the game screen. Absolutely, keep keep the chatting going because uh, if. If nothing else, we really enjoy when I get really distracted from the game by the chat. So, um, but I'm gonna try and make sure that I have the game working. Um, Battle Tech. What was that? Lethal Smile! Thank you for the follow! <laughs> I'm getting alerts in my ears and I'm like, I don't know. Uh... Oh yes, we had late D&D &D last night. Um, I absolutely did not, did not open a door and almost take away half our party's hit points. Why would I do something like that? I, I, I totally did not do that. Narrator voice. He totally did that. <laughs> Yeah. Well, at the same time, Kira, your character was actively attacking one of the party. So, <laughs> um, the door did not say cake. I had already sent my ghost familiar through the door and triggered a trap on the other side. I assumed the door was safe. <laughs> and, and this isn't even my chaos character. My, the previous campaign, my character literally had a warlock patron that was Chaos Incarnate. Um, this wasn't even that character. This was just me late at night on a Sunday being tired and making a bad call. So this is the game. Um, our mercenary company is... AOK's battle budgies because how could I not when they gave a mercenary company symbol that was literally a budgerigar or a parakeet in giant sunglasses? I mean, I had to be the battle budgies. Um, and my character's name is Aokon, who the chat nicknamed AOK for his or their battle tag. Um, Lulz means loss of lives, yes. <laughs> That's nearly what we had. Um, I don't remember where we're at. Rhino's out of action for 22 more days. We have a financial report in 17 days. We've got just over 1 million sea bills. Um, we're in Lyerton. I think we came here because I wanted some place that actually had a store. Um, <laughs> we had been to two completely uninhabited systems. Uh, so I came here because there's a store, but we definitely need to take some contracts. We need to get out there and start stomping on mechs so that we get some more stompies. Um, so that's a thing that needs to happen. Um, and I think at about 7.30, we'll turn on the giveaway. The giveaway will run for an hour and a half. So you'll have an hour and a half to enter. And then uh, we will draw a winner. Um, so like I said, for that, you will just need to be a follower of the channel to be able to enter. Um, and we're giving away a Steam code for this game. Uh, according to Humble Bundle, where I purchased the Steam code for the giveaway, um, it should work on Windows, Mac, or Linux. So uh, let's see. <laughs> 100 bits for a shopping episode? Um, I don't know that I have enough money to do a shopping episode. But we can go to the store. We can go and see what they have. 
Uh, so under mechs, they have a piece of an archer. But I don't think I currently have any pieces of that already. Urban mech. Shadowhawk. Marauder. Javelin. I'm really only in the market for heavy mechs right now, or assault mechs, because I don't yet have one. I only have light and medium at this point. Um, and so I, I think at the end of stream last week, we took a look. And we have an archer, but not the same kind of archer as this archer. So this one won't help us towards completing one. The Seabell to Gold Press Latinum conversion rate. You know, I don't know. That is a very interesting uh, question. Also, it looks like we're paying 10% extra because of our reputation. Apparently, we don't have a good enough reputation, so everything costs a little more right now. <clears throat> So I don't know that there's anything for us to buy for a shopping episode, but, but, uh, so this month, this game is not on the wheel because we've played it for two months already. We're going to move on to something else for July, but at the end of July, this will be back on the wheel and we could, so that we can potentially come back to it and play it again. Um, so we had a couple potential contracts here. We still have this priority mission. I'm not sure I'm ready, but... If you all want me to do the story mission, I will give the story mission a try. So it's two skulls. Um, if chat would like me to do the priority story mission, we can do that. Otherwise, I'm going to pick one of the easier missions. I have a feeling the story mission would probably take the whole stream. I mean, we had a save game right at the beginning. We haven't done anything yet, so. This one, travel to Weldry to carry out our first major operation against the Directorate. We'll brief you more fully when you arrive and prepare yourself, Commander. After this drop, we will be at war. Welcome to the big leagues, Commander. After we pull the trigger on this one, everything is gonna change. For us, for Lady Ar Arano, hell, for the whole Oregon Reach. So, it would include 19 days travel, which means Rhino would still not be out of medical. Um... I don't know anything about the mission, other than that it is a main story mission and requires travel. Uh, we have some decent mech pilots... Mechs in the bay, uh, got the Blackjack, Vindicator, Shadowhawk, Spider, a Panther, and a Centurion. We've got four medium mechs and two light mechs, and that's it. But... Hmm. Hi, Hannah, how are you? How was your Monday? Let's see. You know, I'm going to save it, but I'm going to give it an actual name. Before I do the bad idea. Since we've been playing for two months, we're about to take a break, and I'm giving away a copy We'll take the priority mission and we'll see how it goes. By your command. I don't know. It might be good. It might be bad. We will find out. Also, there may be some event on the way. Always do the bad idea. Yes, Lord Portico. That is not my saying. As you see, Lord Portico put a trademark on it. It is not trademarked to me, but I do live by that philosophy. Ooh. Uh, are they rainer cherries by any chance, Hannah? 
I just ask because um, that bronze girl was gushing over Rainer Cherries earlier today. Lanny and Pobble Beads? Kira, I don't even know what Flanny and Pobble Beads are. What are those from? <laughs> Oh, we got our financial report. Still only have like two months worth of funds. Uh, but I don't want a negative morale effect yet. So let's go with it. Two more days until Weldry. Oh, it's from the Hitchhiker's Guide. I don't... I... I've read The Hitchhiker's Guide. I've listened to it as an audiobook. I've seen the movie, the newer movie, the one um, that had Alan Rickman playing uh, the robot. And the very first time I encountered Hitchhiker's Guide was um, the, like, 1980s television adaptation of it. Like, the British TV adaptation series thing. I don't remember. It was... Um, it was on HBO or something, and I saw it there. Um, I don't remember Flanny and Pobble Beads. Interesting. Ninji? Altarian dollars. I don't remember cre the these types of currencies very well. We've arrived at Weldry, Commander. Ready to proceed with our current contract? I suppose. Oh, but let's... Not yet. Let's check the store while we're here. Um, is there no store here? I can't check the store? There's no store. Okay. <laughs> My chat has gone to chaos. I mean, that's normal. Um, the currency that pops into my mind when I'm thinking about science fiction currencies is kilocalories. Um, going to the uh, Kim Stanley Robinson Mars Trilogy, um, where actual, like, kilocalories of work counted as currency. Uh, Lord Alexander Madeira. Weldry, one of the most notorious hellholes in the Oregon Reach. Everything about this place is hostile to human life. And for the past three years, Espinosa has used it as a dumping ground for his political enemies. Hi, Lady Kamea Arano. The Directorate has a prison complex on the planet's surface. The inmates call it the Ice Box. View screen. The image of an imposing structure appears on your view screen. It has the solid, heavy walls that you've come to associate with Torian architecture. It's holding a facility for political prisoners, including high-value hostages, members of the founding families, spouses, sons, and daughters. If we liberate the prison and set them free, we break Espinosa's leverage over the founding houses. The political map will change overnight. We don't know what the Directorate has been doing to our people in there, but we have, we have to set them free. Not just for political gain, but because they're our people. And we need your help to do it. Aren't the founding lords and ladies supposed to be powerless figureheads? I need to know what I'm about to send my lance into. What makes Weldry so inhospitable? You've got an army. What do you need us for? Hmm. I really want to know what I'm about to send my lance into. But I'm going with... Aren't the Founding Lords and Ladies supposed to be powerless figureheads? There are different kinds of power, eh, okay? The Founding Houses may be anemic in terms of martial strength, but their words still carry weight in the Oregon Reach. If they rally behind us, the people who love them will follow. Governments have been toppled with less. My uncle has hardline supporters everywhere. Their ranks have swelled in the absence of strong opposition. But the remaining members of the Founding Council will rally their people against the Directorate if given a chance. By freeing Weldry, we will give them that chance. 
Ooh, and I still get to ask the question that I wanted to ask. I need to know what I'm about to send my lance into. What makes Weldry so inhospitable? Everything from the sub-zero climate to the inedible vegetation. The whole planet is infested with blood-sucking insects. The swarms can stretch for miles. So wait, it's sub-zero and there are blood-sucking insects that populate it? That seems like a very strange planetary evolution. But okay. You're shitting me. I'm afraid not. They're called Branson's Mosquitoes. Imagine a colonial biting fly the size of your thumb. They serve as carriers for harmful bacteria. And you're dropping infantry there? On purpose? The army will be safe. Population centers like the Icebox use ultrasonics to keep the swarms at bay. But I thank you for your concern, Mr. Vertanen. Apparently, I have to also ask the third question. Subtle, decisive action. I will lead the army in an all-out assault on the Directorate's primary spaceport. After I've drawn their attention, you will sneak in, attack the icebox, and liberate it. We'll set my uncle's hostages free and put the founding families in our debt. All in one swell foop. Sorry, I had to. Uh, it says fell swoop, but how could I not say swell foop? Um, in my experience, operations of this scale rarely go according to plan or understood my lance is ready to drop. I mean, truth be told, they rarely go to plan. I know, A-OK, -okay, and that is one of the major reasons why I need you on this drop. You adapted to the chaos on the battlefield of Coromadir. I'll be counting on you to do the same here. I'll remain in radio contact with you after we hit the ground. Good hunting, A-OK. -okay. Give my uncle's troops the hell that they have earned. After the Directorate presence on the planet has been crushed and the icebox has been liberated, we'll regroup to celebrate our victory. Yeah, this seems like a good mission to do before a Klingon game of Star Trek Adventures. Well, I'm no longer out of action. So, let's move Showbiz over. Keep Showbiz in the Vindicate. Decker over in the Blackjack. Because I'm still going first. <clears throat> I guess I'm taking this Shadow Hawk. It's light firepower, but it's the best thing I got. Wish me luck! Deploy! I like that it's in Tundra. I won't have to worry about heat sinks. No, Kira, it's not like Lady Hawk, but... Hmm. I at least know what Lady Hawk is. I'm not terribly familiar with it, but... <laughs> the Shadow Hawk is heavier, but Lady Hawk is much more powerful. Objectives. Fight your way to the Icebox prison camp. Destroy all Directorate forces. Liberate the Icebox from Directorate control. This is it. Our first strike against my uncle... Ah. This is it. Our first strike against my uncle's directorate. Our first step toward justice. While I lead the Restoration Army against Weldry's primary spaceport, you will launch a sneak attack against the icebox and liberate it. I know that you can do this, A-OK. -okay. We can do this together. I don't think you can see it. Behind me, uh, someone is saying, hard to believe we're going to war against the Directorate. I don't know about you, but from my perspective, it's long overdue. Make them pay for what they took from us. Make it hurt. Uh, I forget his name. He's the guy that captains our ship. But considering I play once a week, I don't remember his name. Break an enemy's leg. Sounds good. It's Darius Oliviera. That's his name. There are two entrances into the complex, Commander. Intel says that each is defended by a series of elevated turrets. Of course we get turrets. I'm also seeing an LRM emplacement between the two checkpoints. Battle mech defenses should be practically nil, as predicted. Why do I not believe that? 
Lady Arano's preemptive strike has already drawn the prison's st standard garrison away. I'm seeing heavy vehicles and turrets on my screen, nothing that you can't handle. I somehow bet that we're going to end up facing mechs. Clear away the opposition and capture the prison. Lady Arano and the Restoration Army will take care of the rest. Good hunting, Commander. Well, let's look around. Turret generators, those are good to have marked. I'll want to take those out. More turret generators. Prison gate. Prison gate. Prison gate? Or no, that's our objective. <clears throat> I fully expect that we will have uh, mechs come after us. I got distracted while I was navigating the screen. I'm sorry. All right, I'm the first to move. Where should I go? I hate the canyon. I hate the canyon. That way. Location confirmed. Decker and showbiz. We'll see how this goes. If it's really um, just armored vehicles and no mechs, we will definitely have a chance for stompies. Move up into the trees. Enemy contact. Uh, both move up there. Jumping should not be much of an issue because we're in Tundra. 10 bits per Stompy. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I should jump with these guys right now. Let's not jump. Let's continue sprinting. I like the music. My turn again. Good, good. Uh, what if I just attack? So far, this... So far, this is a cakewalk. Um... Actually, I would rather not refer to cakewalks. Uh, so far, this is going really well. <clears throat> Sorry, cakewalks have a very um, problematic history. So, would rather just forget that I said that phrase. <laughs> There's not cake, no. Uh, the cake, in this case, is definitely a lie. Also, that is a very, very good game. Um. Oh, come on. My brain is like, you played that game. It was fun. Uh, Portal. There it is. There's the name of that game. Portal is a lot of fun. I have yet to finish Portal 2. Um, but also, when I played Portal, I played it on a uh, MacBook Pro. Um, I imagine it's a lot easier with an actual mouse. <laughs> and yes, I am... I don't have the overlay up anymore because we blew past our goal and I... Uh, have such a small community, I didn't want to keep just harping on it all the time. I am still raising money until the end of the month, which would be Wednesday. Um, still raising money for uh, the One Archives Foundation. The link is there in chat if you are interested in donating. It is a group that supports the One National Gay and Lesbian Archives at the University of Southern California. Um, they are the largest and oldest LGBTQ plus archives in the world, and they work to 
preserve and share LGBTQ plus history. Uh, we've so far raised $250 this month, and if you care to donate, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, but you do not have to. <laughs> you shall harp, Kira. Um, Darius Oliveira. Those prison gates on either side are going to be your best point of entry into the complex. You'll also, liar, blow them down and make your way inside. Or jump the walls if your lance is capable of it. Your call. Yeah, um, thanks for the strategy advice. Got it. I will check at some point to see if I get any donations tonight because uh, without the overlay, I don't know that I'll get notification sound but it's there if people want to donate better to chime and beat the drum I can always turn on the overlay too but and we are at 731 so Kira now would be about the time to start the giveaway got turrets, I've got vehicles, let's see, those are vehicles, those are turrets, hmm, let's attack, And the giveaway is active, so uh, if you want to enter, just type exclamation point giveaway in the chat. And if you are a subscriber, you will have two tickets. Uh, if you are just a follower, you will have one ticket. Um, and then in about an hour and a half, we will draw a winner. And uh, whoever wins will get a Steam code for this game. where I want Behemoth to go. <laughs> Gotta take out those generators. Waiting for orders. Oh, I can't quite do Stompies. They're slightly too far away. But I can attack the generators. Firing on target. All right, showbiz. Time to show us what you got. Time to be the star of the show. I think I did this gag last week. 70% to hit there. Yeah, go for it. I really want those turret generators gone. Wow! He hit pretty hard. Okay, minimal. He hit pretty minimal. <clears throat> this turn is the one where I take a lot of damage. Because I'm in range of the turrets and all of these vehicles are getting close. Stop it! Warning. Mech warrior injury. Oh. It's A okay. Minimal hit. Not even a one hit wonder. Armor blow through. <laughs> Half a tune that sometimes gets stuck in your head. Alright. 
It is now my turn. Um. All right, a okay. Got for me. Gosh, horrible. Uh, get down into the trees. Can literally be hit by like everything. Uh, fire! Got one generator. Target building destroyed. Stop shooting at me. I mean, I know it's your job and all, but Commander. All right, Behemoth. Ah. Uh... This is a rather difficult uh, position to be in, surrounded by turrets. I mean, truthfully, it just means that they defended their turrets properly. Uh. Waiting for order. All right, Decker. Yeah, jump in too. There. Watch Decker die. I'm good at getting Decker killed. Nice. Two generators gone. One less structure. All right, showbiz. Time to show off. Three! Three generators gone! Ah, ah, ah! I've just been ignoring the little, uh, assault vehicles. We're definitely getting attacked by mechs. This was a two skull thing. There's no way it's this easy. As I say, it's easy and my main character gets assaulted heavily. Round eight. It's all right. I still need, you know, yes, commander, and two. Hmm. Is my armor situation? One hundred four. Okay, so it's the left arm. Oof. That's where all of my ammo is for my long-range missiles. I would really rather keep that left arm if possible. Uh, I should probably jump. No. Show them my right arm. And still attack this turret generator. Well, from that perspective, it worked. They're shooting at my right hand side instead of my left hand side. Ready for orders. 
take out that last turret generator so I can stomp on these assault vehicles. Behemoth! How could you? How could you fail to destroy that generator? That was your entire job this round. Now Decker's gonna have to come and clean up after you. Good job, Decker. You can live. For now. Hooray <laughs> for symmetry. Alright, showbiz. Stompies! Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. I know it's not good for the legs. Stomp your left leg. Stomp your left leg out. Do the stompy stompy and you turn yourself about. <laughs> and a hundred bits. Thank you, Lord Portico. <laughs> you stomp your left leg in. You stomp your left leg out. You do the stompy stompy and you turn yourself about. <laughs> I love it. So, I have definitely decided that Behemoth is my second in command. I, I think Behemoth, she does an amazing job. She's perfectly matched to this mech. Uh, just absolutely the, the best teammate I've got at the moment. Hello. Would you like stompies? Have some stompies. These ones, <laughs> this was the mint chocolate chip stompy. Enemy unit destroyed. Receiving you. <laughs> Lord for a hundred corgo bits this time. Thank you. Oh, what do I spy? Time for more stompies. Yes, please. Uh, we'll call this the, uh, Spumoni Stompy. <laughs> this, this may not be good long term, but thank you, Lord Portico, for the hundred, hundred cheer bits. I don't even know what that one is called, but it's, it's bits. Alright, one more. Attack! <laughs> oh, oh, good, good effort with the stompies. Good, good effort. It was less effective, but good effort. Uh, Showbiz, show him how it's done. On my way. Putting my weight into it. There we go. We'll call that one Rocky Road. Stumpies! <laughs> and a hundred pride bits. Thank you. <laughs> You're paying me to destroy the legs of my mechs. <laughs> Alright, uh, Behemoth. Can you not reach? Execute the Stompies! And that one was Neapolitan. That was a Neapolitan Stompies. <laughs> Undead bits! Thank you! Oh. <laughs> she, uh, became unbalanced, apparently. <laughs> I don't have any ice cream either, Kira. Oh, Spumoni sounds so good right now. Enemy contact? What 
enemy contact. Where is this enemy that I'm sure is not a mech that we were told was not going to be here? I don't see them. Stand up. Behemoth. Ready for action. I definitely did a number on the legs on uh, the Centurion. We'll see if that uh, affects how the battle goes. But I had lots of fun stomping on all of those little armored vehicles. Cookies. Moving out. Only authorized shenanigans. <laughs> uh, I mean, Kira needs a coffee account. If for no other reason than to pay for coffee. go ahead and just destroy the gate since my legs have taken some damage and I would like to not jump as much as I can. Authorized by whom? Um, I'm sure by... I, I don't know who would authorize them. Probably authorized by Adventures of Tony, if I know anything. Copy that. Excellent work, Commander. The prison is ours. A Regan Directorate Prison Warden. All Directorate personnel to action stations. God damn it! This is not a drill! Looks like you've got more company. I'm seeing heat signatures coming online in the prison mech bay. The warden must have held a lance in reserve. Didn't I say we were going to end up fighting battle mechs? Sit tight, Commander. Lady Arano is aware of the situation. Reinforcements are on the way. Uh, what do you want to bet those reinforcements are going to be slightly too late to really be of any assistance? I mean, this is a story mission, so, I mean, I expected mechs. Enemy turn. New objective. Eliminate the prison garrison. What do we have, I wonder? See three mechs so far. Four. What's that? A Jenner? Jenner's not too bad. I say that, but remember what happened with me and the spider. Uh. Oh, who should go first, I wonder? How about you, Decker unit? Music is so pretty. Where do I want you? Heading out. No, Kira, you'll have to burn down the entire apartment complex. Spider on the patio. For an Ooh, left arm destroyed in the first shot. Good job, Decker unit. A uh, Centurion. That would be a medium. Ouch. A medium ouch. We'll call it a medium ouch. Yes, Commander. <clears throat> Showbiz? Show me your biz. 
happened? Where can I get to? Nope. Set up. Oh, that's on the other side of the wall. I wondered if I could get on the wall. It does not appear that I can, so there's no point in doing that. Um, keep firing on that Jenner, please. Ooh, I can do a precision strike. Left torso at 29%. 33% to hit the... A lot of missiles. Alright, Behemoth. Good to go. Get your butt in here. On the move. Go! What's going on with the stream? I have no idea what happened. I looked up and I saw the like ah, spinny wheel thing. What? <sighs> Apparently I was dropping some frames. Well, that's one more thing for me to monitor now. There's also a much longer delay now between me and what you're seeing. Uh, but says the stream quality is good. Heck and heck. Um. One moment. I don't know why. I mean, I know it's my lovely internet. Wow. Yeah, there was like a minute where, like, it just dropped entirely. Right now it says we're doing okay. It says we are stable. It's a twitch in the matrix. <laughs> yes, appropriate use of speak attack there. Um, I've got it up to monitor it, and I will keep monitoring it. Um, it will not stop the uh, game code giveaway. If you have not entered and you want a copy of this game, uh, it is available. All you have to do is type exclamation point giveaway in the chat. And in um, another one hour and ten minutes, we will be doing a drawing to see who will win that Steam code. I think the internet needs a coffee. Freaking internet. Uh, things. Um. Of course, today of all days is when... Uh, my internet decides it wants to be funky. And, you know, my download speed looks just perfect. Give me one second, I'm just gonna check and see where we're hovering at for the upload speed. So upload speed is actually not that bad. It's at about 85% of what it should be, um, which is not terrible. Hopefully that was just a minor glitch and it won't come back. I'm going to proceed with the game on that assumption. Um, also, why am I being silly? I never started the captions. Nobody reminded me about the captions. The captions are working now. Uh, I apologize that they were not running before. That is totally an oversight on my part, having to do with me being distracted when I started the stream. Ooh. 
right behemoth. Please take out the Jenner. Bye bye, Light Mac. Okay. All right, a okay in the Shadow Hawk. No distractions and no shenanigans. Fire all weapons. Uh oh, it's their turn now. They're gonna a uh, Jaeger Mac. Deca unit. Commander, I'm hit. Weapon system down. Hi, Lady Kamea Arano. Oh, the Oregon people. What? We actually did get reinforcements? Sweet! Deca unit! Ay caramba! Engaging jump jet. <laughs> We're just gonna move him behind a wall. Uh, <laughs> We're just gonna nope him on out of there. It's Kamea Rano coming to the rescue. Shooting that centurion in the back. Yikes. Ouch. Okay, who's next? Behemoth. Behemoth, I want you to run. Because I want you to get some movement evasion stuff. And Mr. Centurion. Ooh, can I precision strike the Centurion? Anywhere useful. Lasers in the center. LRM 10 in the left torso. That'd be good to take out. AC 10 in the... Oh, AC 10 ammo in the right torso. That would be good to take out. Twenty nine percent, thirty three percent. Ammo or there's ammo here too, right? Yeah. Left torso, please. Fire. Well, he lost evasive. I didn't destroy the left torso, but ouch. Ouch. Show biz. Show me your biz. Precision strike on the centurion. Go over that center torso. Roger that. Didn't take him out, but I think if I fire move. there. <laughs> this guy over here is causing problems. Shoot the centurion. Now the Jaeger mech comes to assassinate me. Armor 
Yes, shoot Behemoth. Not me. It's my turn. Um, showbiz. Showbiz, showbiz. Are you serving pizza? Do you have an animatronic mouse? Well, that's the Jaeger mech. That's not who I want you to shoot at. Go back. This is who you should fire at. Come on, take out that centurion. Yes! No! I thought I thought Lady Arano had taken him out. Stop that! Eesh. Yuck. Jump. Engaging jump jets. Got the left arm. Center torso. Huzzah! Enemy mech destroyed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Deca unit. Jump. A palpable hit. Brace for it. Receiving you. All right, Behemoth. You need to move because I need evasion bonuses. Now shoot at the Jaeger mech. Sensors impaired, minus one evasion. That's not bad. Not bad at all. You got this, Showbiz. You're doing fine. You're the greenest one on the field, but you're doing fine. In fact, you're the only one of my mech warriors who hasn't taken an injury. What, pray tell, are you a trebuchet? Precision strike, trebuchet. What do we got? What do we got? We Got nothing in the center torso. We got uh, nothing in the head. Left torso has LRM ammo. LRM 15, left arm. 48% to hit that left arm. 48% to hit that left torso. Let's go for that. Hello, Decker unit. Continue your travels. Aye, aye. You with the broken center torso. All right, all right. Showbiz. Showbiz is in decent shape. What about you, Behemoth? Yeah, you're fine, except for your legs. You fall down. Yeah, I think. Okay. We're doing fine. We're doing just fine. Jump. Do I go for that? No, I think we do that. Next turn, I can go after that trebuchet with showbiz. For now, fire at the Jaeger mech. And behemoth. 
joining in the fray. Yes. Good. So I could shoot here, but just with the LRM 5 plus. Uh, which is good, but won't do significant damage. Here I can use more weapons. Ooh, look at that pretty center torso. Oh, ammo explosion! Nice! I didn't die. <laughs> I thought I was going to die. Chobiz. Jump for me. Jump for me. Up onto the wall. Let us precision strike. Oh, another LRM-15. Honestly, center torso is the best call right now. Hoisted by my own internet. Things are going pretty well. A okay. We are going to jump some more. Well, let's go over here. I don't believe that these will be the last forces. Otherwise, I'd probably just jump on top of him. Yeah, stompy style. I do too much death from above, but it's a lot of fun. Come on, Decker unit. Can't quite make it there. Roger. But we'll take you inside the wall. Brace. Sensor lock. I've got a sensor lock. Run, little trebuchet, run. Those LRM fifteens are harsh. Also, there? I feel like the Oh, I guess that's just turn order. Good to go. Behemoth? Attack. Fire! Right torso is gone. Critical hit, Commander. Come on, Kamea. You can do the final hit. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh wow um um hi <laughs> hello everybody from uh tiny hat labs and steven kill thank you for bringing everybody over let me let me switch to my face for a minute uh <laughs> welcome in everybody from um from steven kill uh all of you there um Kira, thank you for getting the shout out. Um, hi, I, uh, this is the Rogues Gallery. I am Rogan, um, and uh, yeah, I'm a variety streamer. I stream uh, four days a week, Monday nights. Uh, I spin a wheel uh, like once a month to decide what we're going to stream for the next month. So tonight we'll be spinning the wheel in just a little bit to um, decide what we are going to be playing for July. Uh, right now we're currently playing Battletech. Um, Wednesdays, I do an archive stream from, um, 
the Virginia Tech University Archives and uh, Special Collections. Uh, so that's live on Wednesdays, where I just share materials from the archives there. Saturdays, I'm currently playing the Ultima series, uh, retro games, currently playing Ultima 3 from 1983. And Sunday, I am currently playing through the Mass Effect Legendary Edition uh, for my first ever playthrough. Um, it is so good to see all of you in today. Um, hello to Urban Bohemian. Welcome in. Daspiff, uh, Steven, uh, Chaos Mage Cat. Um, yeah, there are a couple of things you should know, uh, since it is the last time that we're playing Battletech, uh, we've been playing for about two months, and it's the last time we're playing for a little bit, I am giving away a, uh, copy of the game, I'm giving away a Steam code for Battletech, uh, so that giveaway is currently active, um, and I think I can make it pop something in. Somehow, I'm supposed to be able to... Anyway, if you type exclamation point giveaway in the chat, you will be entered to win a Steam code for the game. Um, you do have to be a follower to win. If you're a subscriber, you get two entries. And we will be drawing that in just a little over an hour. Um, and yeah, everything is completely under control. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. at uh, Right around the same time we are doing the giveaway, we will be... Um, spinning the wheel to decide what we're going to be playing next month. Uh, that wheel looks like this. Um, and uh, so I've got, I don't remember, seven, eight, nine games on the wheel. Uh, the ones that have a larger chance to win are because people redeemed their masks to add them to the wheel, which means they have a greater chance than the ones that I just put on there myself. Um, so one of these games is what we will be streaming next month on Mondays. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I think I've covered everything. Um, if you aren't already following Stephen Kill, go ahead and give uh, him a follow. He is an absolutely spectacular uh, streamer, um, plays lots of pretty games, and wears lots of tiny hats. Um, also, if you're not following Urban Bohemian, you should give Urban Bohemian a follow too. Kira, can you give a shout out to Urban Bohemian? Um, I'm going to pop open a soda here. Um, because hashtag herb is great is absolutely right. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can catch Urban Bohemian streaming a few times a week, playing lots of different games. Uh, but I generally tune in and you're either playing Assassin's Creed or Animal Crossing, but also you're on Rivals of Waterdeep. And I saw there was some, um, I I'm, I'm stretching for you, Lord Portico. I saw that there was a, um. Huh? Must follow. Oh, an announcement on your Twitter today? Uh, something about being a featured gamer? So, um, oh, I don't remember exactly what that was. I'm just going to look it up and embarrass you. Uh, saw the thing. I know I saw the thing. Oh, yes, Gamer Guest of Honor at, what is this? The Cosmo Questicon. Uh, so Urban Bohemian will is the Gamer Guest of Honor in mid-July for the Cosmo Questicon. So congratulations. Um, I'm going to hop back over to the game, but uh, that giveaway is out there and active. Also, uh, I have been raising money. That was the other thing I meant to mention. I have been raising money this month for the One Archives Foundation. They are a foundation that supports the One National Gay and Lesbian Archives at the University of Southern California. Uh, the One National Gay and Lesbian Archives is the largest and oldest LGBTQ plus archives in the world. Um, and they work to preserve and share LGBTQ plus history. Uh, so we have been raising money. Currently, we've raised about $250 for the archives uh, there. So if you do care to give to that, um, the link is there in the chat. Um, and any donations that you choose to make would be very much appreciated. Um, okay. I think we will pop back over to the game screen. And I won't play the game without showing you the game this time, which I've definitely not done before. Uh, we are on Battletech, aren't we? 
think I may have hit the right buttons. Just waiting. I had a internet issue and the delay between me and you is a little lengthy at the moment. So, okay, there we go. We are on the Battletech screen. Um, one more mech. One more mech currently that we are trying to kill. Um, let's see, showbiz. Where, how do your legs look? Not bad. Can we do stompies? <laughs> going in feet first. Stompies! Ah, death from above. Oh, he didn't go down. He didn't go down. But I had fun. All right. Uh, let's... Oh, I don't need to even need to jump there. Let's move up and shoot him. No, no, not sprint. I want to be able to shoot. <laughs> yeah, this trebuchet is pretty strong. I think we had three heavy mechs and one light mech that we've been up against. Take that shot, Aokan. Are you still? Okay, good. I thought he was still going to be standing. Steven, it is absolutely totally fine. Thank you for bringing everybody over and get some good sleep. I will see you later. Executive Officer Darius Oliveira. The prison is ours. Thanks for the assist, Lady Arano. I'll have Sumira bring us down uh, for the victory celebration. There will be no celebrating. Not after what I saw out there. God, Darius, the things the Directorate has done to these people. Kamea, I need you to meet me in the prison hospital right now. What is it? Better that you see for yourself. And Kamea, prepare yourself. This isn't going to be easy. Mission successful. Huh! I did not think we were ready for that mission. It was two skulls. It was a story mission. I only did it because this was the last time we were playing this game for, like, at least a month. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't believe it. We succeeded in that mission. <clears throat> Liberation of Weldry. Priority mission. 20 rounds. Debrief. Excellent work, Commander. I was right to put my faith in you. You're a critical part of the restoration effort. Objectives. Fight your way to the Icebox Prison Camp. Success. Destroy all Directorate forces. Success. Liberate the Icebox from Directorate control. Success. Mission complete. Pay out 1,766,400 sea bills. Uh, Mercenary Review Board. It looks like we've gone up a little bit there, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, we have one star with the Mercenary Review Board now. That's good. Morale is steady. Plus four with the Arano Restoration and minus three with the Oregon Directorate. We did take a little bit of damage on a lot of our legs. I have a tendency to stomp on things too much. Thank you, Lethal Smile. I had fun with it. Probably more fun than I should have, but, you know, it's just damaged people and damaged mechs. Ooh, salvage. We have four priority salvage. Let's look at these mechs. I have, I can finish a trebuchet. Oh, we're taking that. That'll be my first heavy mech. Portico redeemed a hat trick. Uh, let's to the face screen. Did you have one of my hats that you particularly want me to put on, Portico? Is there one of them that you wish me to wear? Just a celebratory hat. I haven't worn this one in a while. on my head hat that was a little bit of a flubbed hat trick but I got the hats switched 
this would be uh, the sub icon, the bi pocket, um, otherwise colloquial, colloquially known as the Robin Hood hat. Uh, so, <laughs> dapper, dashing, and daring. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, there are various things you can spend your channel points on down below. Uh, one of them is to make me change my hat. I do have approximately 12 or 13 hats sitting next to me. Um, not all of them are quite this flashy, but, uh, you know, those channel points will make me change hats. I could take a piece of a Jaeger mech or a Centurion. Those are potential. I don't need a piece of a Jenner. Let's see if there are any weapons that are plus weapon. <clears throat> You can't see the game. Let me remedy that. <laughs> yeah, Portico, thank you. <laughs> there we go. Um, honestly, I think it's a free-for-all. Unless, were there LRM-15s in here somewhere? No, just the 10s. None of the 15s made it into the salvage. Well, in that case, I will take a piece of a Jaeger mech and a piece of a Centurion. And then... Hmm. I might just grab the LRM-10. And they gave us the Jenner part anyway. Well, we can definitely sell that. Right. We've done pretty well so far. By the time our forces found him, it was too late. I'm sorry, Kamea. He was here all this time. Raju? He lived? <clears throat> I mean, initially? He didn't die in the very beginning of the game? So all of the people that we thought died in that first battle lived through the first battle. I mean, he's dead now, but... The Arana Restoration, the Icebox, Weldry. <clears throat> Lord Alexander Madeira. Kamea, I'm so sorry. I know how much Mastiff meant to you. He was a friend and mentor to us both. He was more than that. The old man was like a second father to me, and my uncle condemned him to... Waste away on this rock, to die wretched and broken in agony. Uh, let's see. Rose's story shouldn't end like this. I knew Raju longer than either of you. Your cousin did. I mean, I'm going with a hero's story shouldn't end like this. Nobody should. And yet so many have. There's no coming back from what I've witnessed here today. The scale of the Directorate's cruelty is unimaginable. What they've done here is monstrous. It's inhuman. Our intel was wrong, Alexander. The icebox isn't a prison. It's a meat grinder. Gods, my own family is behind this. And what's left of mine has chosen to look the other way. It isn't an easy thing to wrap your head around, but try to remain focused. We've just liberated the Directorate's hostages. With a single blow, you've shattered your uncle's hold on the founding houses. The prisoners you've set free are already calling you the Sword of Restoration. We need to spread this message all the way to Coromadir to galvanize your supporters and weaken Espinosa's popularity there. Galvanize your supporters. I like the sound of that. Espinosa stole the throne at gunpoint. How much popularity could he have? Uh, I'm sure he has a lot. Um, 
Galvanize your supporters. I like the sound of that. It won't be an easy process. For the last three years, those who love House Arano have been keeping their heads down. We won't break them of that overnight. In truth, an appreciable percentage of Cora Madeira's population supports Director Espinosa. In centralizing power, he improved the quality of life on the throne world considerably, and people will forgive a great deal for security and comfort. With our victory on Weldry, we've all seen what happened to those who would not be brought, bought or indoctrinated, those who refused to kneel before a tyrant. We knew what would become, or we knew what became of the people who were made to disappear. And soon enough, the entire Reach will know too. The momentum is on our side, Kamea. We need to take advantage of it. You're right. This isn't the time for hand wringing. But Alexander, you didn't see what I saw out there, on the other end of the battlefield. The work crews, all hunched and broken. The graveyards. Great fields of unmarked burial plots that stretched as far as the eye could see. Every time I blink, I see it. The misery that was allowed to fester here. A couple of My background as a frontier freelancer, I can picture it well enough. I saw my share of human misery when I was freelancing on the frontier. Espinosa is a monster. This confirms it. Or we've set the people here free. In the end, that's what matters. Um, I tend to like to go with the background option just because... Uh, they've been pretty good so far. So I think I will say I can picture it well enough. I saw my share of human mystery when, misery when I was freelancing on the frontier. I'm sure you did, but that was the lawless frontier. Before my uncle's coup, Weldry was a part of the Oregon Coalition. We were better than this. This place is going to stay with these people for the rest of their lives. I'd do anything to be able to spare them that hurt, but I can't. Word of advice from an old veteran, Lady Arano. Focus on something you can do. Give us an order. Tell us to blow something up. Shit, use your imagination. The key is, you do something, and you move on. Thank you, Chief Vertanen. You have a good crew, A-OK. -okay. I have a new assignment for you, and a reward for your service. The Argo appears on your view screen. She's in rough shape, but she appears to be spaceworthy. For decades, the wreck site of the Argo was one of my father's most closely held secrets. When I sent you to retrieve her, I meant for her to serve a symbolic purpose. A sign of rebirth and renewal, emblazoned with the Arano Cormorant for all to see. I was naive. This is a time for action, not symbols. And so, A-OK, -okay, I have decided that she will be yours to command. The Argo will serve as your new home, and she will fly your mercenary banner. Lord Madeira will join you to act as my liaison, and in return, you will grow stronger, sharper, more flexible. You will hone your company to a razor's edge, one that I will hold to the Directorate's throat. In that case, congratulations, you've got yourself a navy. Sounds good to me, Lady Arano will transition to the Argo directly. Yes, I've got a new ship. Here's hoping she doesn't fall apart on me. <laughs> um... In that case, congratulations, you got yourself a navy. If that's settled, then please, Kamea, go back to the triage tent and get your wounds looked at. The conditions here are beyond unsanitary, and you'll be of no use to anyone if you're dying of some exotic infection. Our people contend to the wounded. We need you strong for the fight ahead. I will, I will, Alexander. But not just yet. Assemble our people in the courtyard. There's something that I need to say. This will be voiced over, so... <laughs> I am Kamea Arano. And I have failed you. For three long years, Director Espinosa has imprisoned and starved and murdered our people. And where was I? Hiding in a palace Light years away, building support, planning, 
While the Directorate's secret police turned neighbor against neighbor, made your loved ones disappear, conscripted your children. I wasn't here. I didn't know. The crimes that I have witnessed here today are unforgivable. No doubt, Director Espinosa believes that the ends justify the means, that the Oregon Reach has been made strong. Well, I say that strength built on fear is brittle. The Directorate is a paper tiger, and I declare this restoration today to rally the true strength of our people, our resilience, and our freedom. Let Weldry be a call to arms. Join us. And together we will liberate the founding houses and retake Cormadir. Not because it is my birthright, but because the Directorate's crimes against you, the Oregon people, will no longer be tolerated. That is what I fight for. And I vow to fight for your freedoms to my dying breath. <clears throat> I love the art style for this game. It's so, it's so well illustrated. Have ship will travel in orbit, Weldry. <clears throat> Engineer Dr. Farah Murad. Hello again, my mercenary friends. Before you officially take possession of the Argo, I wanted to introduce myself in person. We never really got a chance to meet properly on Axelus. So, uh, hi, I'm Dr. Farah Murad. Or just Farah, if you prefer. It's nice to meet you all face to face. Yeah, Doc, you too. I'm gonna call you Doc, by the way. You should probably go ahead and get used to it. It was impressive work you did, getting the Argo flying. Between you and me, I had my doubts. Honestly, I did too. You should have seen what the Argo's interior looked like after a couple hundred years of pirate occupation. Actually, take that back. If you'd seen what I saw, you would never have wanted to set foot inside. Take it from me, the ship has been deloused from bow to stern, and every meter of her has been hosed down with industrial grade disinfectant. The ship is clean enough to eat off of, I swear it. <laughs> oh, respectfully, Dr. Murad, I could care le couldn't care less uh, how clean the ship is. I lost a friend today. Thanks, Farah. I'm sure we all appreciate it. For clean is good, space worthy is better. You sure the Argo is ready for action? Um, yeah, clean is good, space worthy is better. Oh, absolutely. I mean, she's here, isn't she? All the way from Lyreton, with nary a decompression event in sight. Don't worry, Commander, I wouldn't endanger my new crewmates by putting them on an unsafe ship. I've got, a, I've got professional standards to maintain. Uh, new crewmates, do you know something we don't? Hang on a sec, Doc. This is my company, and I decide who is and isn't on my crew. Hear that, Yang? We're finally getting a shipboard engineer. Uh, you know, I'll be inquisitive. Do you know something we don't? Did Lady Arano not say? I'm coming with you. You need me if anything goes wrong with the ship. Not that it will, mind you, but you know, just in case. Oh, and Darius. I'm sorry about all the shouting back on Axelus. As it turns out, getting shot at by pirates puts me on edge. No hard feelings. None at all. Keep this beast flying, and you can yell at me as much as you want. Hell, I'm used to it. Welcome to the family. You too, Lord Madeira. I never imagined we'd be working together, but I'm glad to have the opportunity. <coughs> <coughs> the voices I've chosen for at least two of these characters are not so kind to my throat. I can do them a bit, but they've been talking a lot. As am I, <laughs> that I've got their voices wrong. As am I, Mr. Oliveira. Over the years of our exile, Lady Arano told me a great deal about you and your company, all of it good. Even before the events of the coup, she drew, she knew about Markham's marauders. Your assistance in her father's Faldir campaign did not go unnoticed. What's Faldir? Faldir was originally a Capellan colony world, lost in the Succession Wars. It is a bleak ice planet swept constantly by howling winds and blowing snow. The original colony was largely underground, built in the sides of deep kilometer-wide shafts that breach the ice that envelops the world. Baldir 
survives on its rich mineral resources, and is in possession of a well-connected hub near the inner sphere. It was a good job, Lady Lord Madeira. We only did what High Lord Tamadi paid us to do. Still, it feels good to be appreciated, and I know that someone out there still remembers Commander Markham's name. Uh, it'll be a welcome addition. Being remembered is the best any mercenary can hope for. Or that's all heartwarming, but I want to see my new ship. I want to see my new ship. But um, welcome aboard. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Commander Rogue. Speaking of which, you'll have some time to break your new ship in before Lady Arano is ready to move on uh, Panzer. She needs to consolidate our forces on Weldry and replace our losses with fresh volunteers. You remember her orders? You're, you are to sharpen your company and grow strong. And now that you have a mobile command center worthy of the title, I suggest that you use it. <clears throat> I'll get you a fresh batch of contracts to look over, Aikon. The whole Rimward periphery is our oyster now. <clears throat> we won't be limited to debts or travel restrictions. Exciting times, I've got to say. Uh, you're telling me we've been cooped up in that one little patch of frontier for too damn long. Uh, we better put that freedom to good use. It won't be long before Arano comes calling. Or how about it, Yang? You excited? How about it, Yang? You excited? Yeah, boss. I'm practically giddy. So why the hell are we still hanging around to here talking? There's an absolutely enormous mech bay right over there, and it's got my name written all over it. Damn right it does, Yang. You all heard him. Take your stations, everyone. We're free agents until Lady Arano calls for us, and there's money to be made. <coughs> Slightly more talking than I intended to do in either of the two voices that were kind of hitting my throat wrong. I may have to do different voices next time we play. <laughs> <coughs> The Argo is not in good shape, Commander, but with time, money, and some of Chief Vertanen's technical resources, we can address most of the major problems. Maybe even make this place nice again. I'll be in engineering if you want to know more. Would you like to know more? <clears throat> Lady Arano said she wanted us to get stronger. With these mech facilities, we finally have the resources to do that. Bring me scrapped mechs from missions and shops, and I'll rebuild them into fighting machines. And remember, boss... When it comes to mechs, bigger is usually better. Melba! Thank you so much for resubscribing! Welcome back for five months as part of the Rogues Gallery! <laughs> mech chassis complete! Ooh, yes, we have a trebuchet now! One of the lightest dedicated fire support mechs to be found, the Trebuchet 5N can mount enough missiles to give even heavy units pause. However, trench buckets are known for running hot and don't have much in the way of protection. Uh, we're going to need to do some mech repairs. Yeah, I imagine so. We did a lot of stompies during the last battle. Uh, can't go into combat like this. See me in the mech bay when you're ready. And right to the back bay. Okay. Oh, we have no empty bays? Hmm. <clears throat> I think we will drop the spider. I don't... No. Oh, we can send it to storage. That works. All right. We did take some injuries. So we have some people out of action for a little while. We have a new ship! Look at our ship! It looks kind of damaged. <laughs> we also have the hiring hall, the store, and 2.4 million sea bills. Um, I suppose we should go to the mech bay first. Uh, oh shoot. I must have lost something. I have to refit the blackjack. I can repair the vindicator. I can repair the shadowhawk. I've got a Centurion, and I can repair that. <clears throat> I have a lovely new trebuchet! Look at the paint jobs available. With our lovely purple, green, and gold pattern. Hmm. 
seven. Honestly, I kind of like pattern one. I think we're going to keep pattern one. And our blackjack. Oh, we lost an arm. That's why I have to refit. Replace the arm. Replace the torso. Medium laser. Thing. Laser, no. I had two medium lasers before. <clears throat> oh, can I do an AC two? Ah, there we go. And that puts us at the forty-five tons. Confirm. Confirm! <laughs> Alright, so repairs are underway, which means, Kira, you're getting your shopping episode. Um, if I can... Wait, how do I exit? Oh, jeepers. <laughs> the ship map over here was changed and I... It threw me off completely to the fact that this was my, um, menu. <laughs> um, and yes, the, there is a, um, <clears throat> giveaway active now. If you want to enter, type exclamation point giveaway in the chat, uh, and the winner will receive a Steam code for the game that I am currently playing, the Hairbrain Schemes Battletech. Um, so there are 37 minutes left uh, until we draw the winner on that. Um, <clears throat> let me go to the barracks and there we go. <laughs> See what I have experience point wise here. Uh, here is my lovely character, Aokon Rogue, whose call sign is AOK. -okay. Lovely little butterfly tattoo um, on their cheek. Currently injured for 35 days, but I can still give them uh, some stuff here. Honestly, I'm spending on guts because that increases hit points. And I seem to, to like to take damage. Behemoth, who is uh, definitely my exo, on the ground. Um, she is Miranda Aguilera and she is a tank. I may wait to upgrade anything else so I can do more gunnery or more guts. Uh, Decker, Amir Kowalski, uh, who I refer to as Decker Unit, um, because every time I see the name Decker, it makes me think of Star Trek The Motion Picture. Uh, don't have enough to upgrade anything there. Glitch has, was in Med Bay, so was not part of that mission. Yes, Commander. Medusa wasn't in that mission. Rhino is still in Med Bay. Showbiz! Uh, Dondre Chu. <clears throat> Our newest mech warrior. I have 2,800. What should I do with you? Piloting and guts? Tactics and guts? Gunnery and guts. I... Behemoth is gunnery and guts. Ready for orders. Piloting and tactics. Good to go. Orders. Gunnery and piloting. Gunnery and guts. I don't need another gunnery and guts. I think I might do tactics. But honestly, at this point, I can just do all of those, and we can decide that later. Training complete. Shopping! Actually, let's see who we can hire. We're starting to get better options in the hiring hall. 
Omega, who was created by a Kickstarter backer. Uh, Lorenzo Ralderon grew up in a working class family of mechanics in the Federated Suns. While his parents and aunts worked on urban vehicles and passenger aircraft, they had a family love of battle mechs. Watching hollow vids of the Solaris games together and once enjoying a family trip to the legendary planet in their spare time, they'd construct models together. By the time that Lorenzo was old enough to attend technical school, work as a mech tech was no longer an elite position for mechanics. Decades of war did that. When he graduated, he had his pick of positions and chose to work on a dropship so he could see other systems. After his first tour of duty was up, he realized that he could enjoy more freedom working for a mercenary company rather than the AFFS, and moved Rimward. This allowed him more time to continue working on the models that had been a lifetime interest. He enjoyed trying to recreate the look of Lost Tech designs, even if the technology itself was behind him. Becoming a pilot was never a driving interest of his, but when his current employer ended up in a situation where pilots were needed more than techs, he stepped up and discovered how easy it was for him to maneuver battle mechs. Now he accepts work in either position, but has found, on average, he has more time to pursue his hobby if he works as a pilot. <clears throat> so, doesn't really come with any skill upgrades. The only real, like, special thing about this one is that that character exists because a Kickstarter backer created it. Otherwise, I think Keystone could be nice. <clears throat> but Janitor... Comes with sensor lock and sure footing. And a commensurate salary for uh, being more skilled. Marik Nobility, no strong central authority, governs the adoption of titles of nobi nobility in the Free Worlds League, but one thing is common to all of them they are extremely wealthy. Noble supernumerary. Nu supernumerary. Not all signs of noble fam families are destined to inherit. Younger siblings are often cut loose, and must fend for themselves seeking mercantile or military careers. Fallen noble, the notion of landed nobility is a fragile social construct, and in the tumult of the succession wars, that construct can crumble in one invasion or one loss in battle. Many nobles fallen from former glory are forced to seek their fortune on the periphery. Independent trader... Jump ship fees can be prohibitively expensive for smaller merchants, and so independent merchants will often lease space aboard a shared dropship and split the cost of the jump ship passage among them. So skilled, but also lots of noble background there. Not sure I want that. But hey, look, reputation 10% discount. Our reputation has increased. Ginger, Standing by. Liao Noble, Double Corporate Smuggler, Receiving you. Periphery Commoner, Enlisted Navy Recruit, Merchant Ship Officer, Life of a Commoner, much the same throughout the periphery where conflict and limited resources make for a hard scrabble existence with few opportunities. Dropships function as a result of the massive application of manpower. Skilled, and I like his background better. I'm hiring him. New mech warriors available. <laughs> I don't know if I need that many mech warriors right now. I also should look at the store and see what mechs are available. <clears throat> There's partial mech salvage for a centurion. We have one piece already. Forcer. Medium mech. Fire starter. We have two of three. I can finish a fire starter. Yes, please. New equipment available. Fire starter is a dangerous mech for its tonnage. Carefully timed attacks with its flamers. Flamers! Uh, can shut down down any mech and leave it open to punishment from your other forces. The FS-9H also makes a decent light mech hunter killer. Oh. 
I need to upgrade. Uh, I should look into that. Focused, quick draw, spider, stalker. All right. Um, how do we upgrade this thing? Contracts, Darius, Alexander, Mechwarrior's Memorial Hall, base, Yang, Farah. What you need? Stalker is a big slow boy. Yes. The the noble also costs money to pay them. Uh So, I went with the secondary one who came with some benefits, had a little bit of a higher salary, but also seemed like they'd not die in the first time that I took them out. Um, actually, I don't want to talk to you. I wanted to look at the upgrades, which is here. I need mech bays. How do? The repaired power conduits allow six more mech cubicles to be powered up and made available. This also brings more of the mech bay's automated systems online, making Yang's job easier. Mech bay supports 12. We've got a lot of extra space here. How do I purchase? Or do I need to do this one first? Oh, no, this is installed. How do... Apparently, maybe I need repaired power conduits. Power system. Repaired power conduits. Purchase for 90,000. The Argos power system's a wreck and getting a minimal level of power to the ship's systems without constant tripped breakers and brownouts is a minor miracle. Terrified of the current state of the power systems, Commander. Repairing it should be a top priority. We can't bring most of the Argos other systems online until the power is stable. Also, I'd avoid touching any exposed deck plating just in case. Alright, I'll get the team on it right away. Alright, so we're upgrading those. Which is still shopping. We're shopping. Let's look at our reputation. Reputation. We are finally disliked by someone, which is the local pirate organization. Nobody likes us. Uh, we're closest with Capellan Confederation, which... Um, Oh no, we're closest with the Magistracy of Canopus, which is the one that we've been trying to cultivate a relationship with. <clears throat> but they're still indifferent toward us. Um, probably shouldn't go all out spending. Work on mechs is in progress. Argo upgrade is in progress. People are injured. Let's look at some contracts. Maybe there's something that I can do. I don't know how much time we have. I mean, I know how much time we have. We have 30 minutes left in the stream, and we have 25 minutes left uh, before the drawing. So I timed that pretty well. <clears throat> Lots of contracts for the Arano restoration. One for the Capellan Confederation. Hmm. <laughs> I think I've lost track of how many layers of betrayal this represents. I think, is this a quadruple cross? This must be some scientist. A scientist for a Capellan con conglomerate has turned industrial spy for a rival corporation from the locals. She was privy to numerous industrial secrets that we would prefer not fall into our competitors' hands. The local government leadership has offered to sell her back, but we intend to use the false hope of negotiations to buy you time to extract the scientist through more proactive means. 
Wow. That one would take us to Lyerton, which is a decent system to go to because I think Lyerton would get us contracts with... Uh, the people that we wanted to be friends with, but I don't know. Lyerton. Magistracy. Nope. No magistracy in, in Lyerton. So I'm not going to worry about that travel contract. I also don't think we're actually going to manage to play another round before the stream ends. But... Let me heal some stuff up. I'm just going to advance time a little bit, and we'll see how things go. Since we raid into a show, I, I don't want to start something that goes too long, but we can see what happens. Um, ship upgrades. I can do my mech bay. That one's installed. I want the second one, please. 900,000. I should probably wait. I should wait until I take a contract and earn some more money. I should be responsible. I should also probably save at some point. Should I not? <laughs> All right. I'm going to just... <laughs> oh, oh, an event! Minor infraction. An argument draws you into the mess hall. Showbiz starts toward you, red-faced and scowling. Commander, I hate to bother you with this, but Keystone is slacking off again. We're supposed to share garbage detail, but he... Share? You want me to share? Commander, this asshole is the reason we're on cleanup duty in the first place. He acts like he's my boss. Just last week, he filed two dozen complaints with the XO and got us both put on garbage detail, and he did it over nothing. And infractions and infractions, Snowbez. Snowbez? Showbiz sneers. If you, stop mess if you stop messing up, I'll stop reporting you. So Showbiz, we've had for a while. We like Showbiz. Um... Five missions, four mech kills, two other kills. He's been with us for 229 days. <laughs> Snowpez, yeah. Keystone, we literally just hired. He's been with us for 22 days. He's rebellious. Um, from the periphery, military, spacer, merchant. Has command experience. Cautious periphery, Torian. Uh, reprimand Keystone for slacking. Order Showbiz to knock it off. Address both mech warriors. Short Cummings or refuse to get involved. See, I like Showbiz and I want to support Showbiz. I'm going to address both their shortcomings, though. Raising your hand, you silence the mech warriors. You're both about to lose a paycheck. The EXO put you on garbage detail together for a reason. He figured you two would be forced to talk it out and resolve whatever is going on, but apparently you'd rather bicker like children. You heard the commander showbiz, shoves a broom at Keystone. Get it together. Uh, bristling, Keystone pushes back. I've got nothing left to say to him. Showbiz isn't listening. He's waiting for me to mist up so he can report me to the XO. That's enough! You raise your voice and the mech warriors shrink back. I've got half a mind to lock you in a storage closet until you both shape up. The mech warriors grow silent, refusing to look at one another, but slowly they refer return to garbage detail. When you check on them throughout the week, you can feel the hostility in their eyes, the frosty ambivalence of their brief exchanges. The mech warriors get their work done without further incident, but tensions remain. For they both have low spirits for 15 days. Well darn. Snowpez! Oh, yeah, Kira! Your Pez collection includes snow Pez. That makes sense. I'm just going to clear out this timeline. I know it's one financial report, but I want me back in action. Yeah, I know. We're doing better financially than we were. Come on. Seven days. Six days. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. 
All right. Everybody's healed. All the mechs are done. Is the mech bay done? Oh, we didn't start the mech bay. That's why. Well, we have 18 minutes until the drawing. Um, <clears throat> so if anybody wants to jump in and get a chance to win this game, um, definitely do that. Let me look. Got an 806,000 C-bill mission here. Wait, you have 10 seconds left on it? Am I... What was I looking at? My timer is showing like 18 minutes. <laughs> well, we haven't picked a winner yet. If somebody wants to enter, you should still be able to enter by, with the exclamation point giveaway. Um, Kira, you were the one running it, so I'm sure that whatever was happening with my um, internet stuff has messed things up. Uh, so let's give it five more minutes. Uh, you should be able to click on resume entries um, and open it back up to make sure that people can. Let's give it five more minutes. We will do the drawing in five minutes uh, for the Battletech game. Since I was saying there was a lot more time, apparently there wasn't a lot more time. Five more minutes. Exclamation point giveaway. You can win a copy of this game. Um, it will be a Steam code that should work on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Um, and then once we do that drawing, I will do the spin wheel. Until then, I'm going to save this game, and then we are just going to jump in on a contract and have some fun um, shooting things. Um, knowing that we probably won't finish the contract on stream. Uh, training day. One million sea bills payout. Trying to build a local defense force of mech warriors here on Weldry. Our pilots are inexperienced and untested, and we'd like you to help us train them. We've picked up a troubling signal, which may represent hostile activity, which seems like a good opportunity to send our new defense force out to handle it. Can you bring along an experienced mech warrior and mech to keep them out of trouble? I can only imagine what kind of junk heaps these locals are going to be piloting. I'm expecting Irby's. Bring something tough, Commander. We've come a long way together, com together, old friend, but I fear I have yet another favor to ask of you. Our fortunes are married together. Aid us, and we will aid you, as it's always been. We would not ask this of a lesser ally. All right. Um, you know, I'm going for money. Except, I can only deploy me. Wait, why is the blackjack damaged? That's weird. I'm going to leave behind the Shadowhawk. I'm going to take... Actually, Vindicator, Heat Efficiency, Firepower... Fire starter is light. Trebuchet is medium. Firepower versus. No, I'm taking the Vindicator, I think. I mean, we probably won't finish this one, so it's more for the fun of just jumping in and playing a little bit. Right. Destroy enemy lance and keep trainees alive. <clears throat> Lovely. Just taking a, a moment to load. Yeah, I don't 
don't know what happened, Kira. I think just when we had that blip, I think my internet just like gave up entirely and somehow I lost time on the giveaway timer. Very weird. Guano, I love the smell of coolant in the morning. Coolant's toxic. If you can smell coolant, you're probably gonna die. Wait, um, what does it smell like? Because there's a weird smell in here. <laughs> Focus, people. Commander, we're seeing engine signatures from a single lance in the AO. Should be right about here. Let's do this! Burger time. Oh boy. Oh boy. Smells kind of like onions. Does coolant smell like onions? I'll be on station, Commander. Meet me here when you're ready to leave. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Burger time! Oh, I hope. I sincerely hope. That if they live through this, they become hireable. Not that I would. I just want them to be hireable. Oh, man. What do we got? We got a lance of three, it looks like. <clears throat> Burger time. What are you? F You're in a commando. Waiting for orders. Medium laser for range missiles. Your five minute timer just went off. All right. Um. That means that if anybody has any last minute entries to win a Steam code for this game. Uh, now would be the time to pop in and drop those uh, exclamation point giveaways. Last call for that. We will be drawing the um, winner here in just a moment. Moving out. So now would be to the time to type. Um, I have a bit of a longer delay than normal on chat, so I'm just vamping for a moment before I say that it is time um alright uh Kira I'd say if you are ready uh go ahead and close entries and um nope oh, that is not the button I wanted but it works um Go ahead and close the entries and let us find a winner. Um, we're giving away a, a copy of Battletech. So thank you everybody for coming. And one of you lucky people will win a copy. Uh, Kira, I will let you do that drawing. Um, it should pop up in chat once uh, a winner has been drawn. Drum roll, please. Yeah, if you want to push the button. <laughs> Hannah! <laughs> Hannah, congratulations. You have won a copy of Battletech on Steam. Uh, Kira will whisper you with the Steam code uh, for this game. Um... Congratulations on that. Do let me know if for some reason it does not work properly uh, because I will make sure that you do get a copy of the game. But uh, the code should work in Steam for a copy of Battletech on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Uh, so uh, congratulations, Hannah. Um, it's, it's nice having somebody who's been around uh, basically every stream to win. So congrats. Um, and I did say that once we did the drawing, I would go ahead and spin the wheel to see what we are going to play in July. So we'll do that and then we can um, we can chat a little bit or I can keep playing some of the actual gameplay here. Um, 
before we raid over to Q Times for Blood of the Void, which is the monthly um, Klingon Star Trek Adventures game run by Eliza Pearl uh, on that channel. So that is where we will be going once they go live. Um, Kira, thank you so much for running that giveaway for me. Uh, let me pull up the screen that I need for the wheel. And let's find out what we will be, what we will be playing for the next month. I had to scooch my chair over because uh, the spin wheel was over my face. So, the... Uh, options on the wheel, the potential games that we will be playing. Um, we have Space Quest, we have Star Trek Online, we have Stardew Valley, we have Dragon Age Origins, we have Carto, which was added by Adventures of Tony and was not drawn the last time we spun the wheel, so its chance has increased. Uh, we have Riven, we have Maniac Mansion, which was added by Philip, um, uh, and it has not been on the wheel before, so it has slightly less of a chance, uh, than Carto at this point. And we have Wildermyth, which was added by our own archivist, Kira. Um, if you wish to add a game for future spin wheels, um, that can be done using masks, the channel points below, um. But let us go ahead and spin the wheel and find out what we will be playing for the month of July. Rum roll, please. Spin. <laughs> and it looks like we are playing Riven. Uh, so that is the sequel to Mist, and we will start that next Monday. Um, and I will have to make sure that I get it, uh, properly configured so that we can play it. We will play that one uh, since it is relatively short, uh, as compared to something like Star Trek Online, we will play that one all the way through. And when we are done with it, we will spin the wheel again and pick the next game. So, um, yeah, <laughs> we are playing Riven. So that is what will be coming up next week. Um, I hope that you will come and join me for that and help me solve the puzzles because otherwise it's going to take me forever to play that game. Um, and then in the future, um, not next time, but uh, a few months from now, we'll probably add Battletech back on there um, as something that we can revisit. <laughs> <clears throat> so that is up next. Let me uh I'm just gonna I'm gonna play more game because we still have about 15 minutes left in the stream. Um and we have these funny characters, Burger Time, Guano, and Pontoon, so might as well show them off a little bit. Um But do let me know uh if you see Q times go live, because I do want to make sure that we get there before the game starts. And they have a tendency to go live right around the time that they actually start. So um, I will want to raid over there fairly quickly after they go live. Hey there. <clears throat> Position confirmed. I'm I'm actually excited to play Riven. Um, <clears throat> I had uh, I'm receiving you. I had previously played Mist when we played it on stream. I've never played Riven. That gets me shot at something. Well, let's give it a go. Oh, I can't shoot the Locust. Only the Jenner. 
Take the shot, Pontoon. Take the shot. No love on that strike. Hey, no, that was great. It was a stray shot and it hit the locust. Side torso destroyed. Right arm destroyed. That was a great shot, Pontoon, even though you completely missed. Ah. All right, I'm coming up here. What do we got? A Jenner, a Locust, and a Locust. Let's shoot the Jenner. <clears throat> enemy mechs, critical damage detected. The enemy mechs do not seem to be super well armed. Alright, and we've got burger time. Commander. I want you to do stompies, but also you've already got a leg that's mostly destroyed. What to do? How about punchies? Not against the locust, though. Punchies on this one. Yes. Go up and punch it. Punchies! Good job! Good job! You hit the left arm! That hit something good. <laughs> that hit something good. Oh, and it is running away. Oh, it was trying to get a better position. Alright, Guano. Yeah, get up there where you can actually shoot something. Here we go. Come on, you can do it. I know you can. Left arm destroyed. Good shot. You got this burger time. All right, Pontoon. Waiting for orders. Oh, waiting for orders, are we? Acknowledged. That was the first phrase she said that gave any hint of an accent to me. Uh, yeah, go ahead and fire. Right. <clears throat> and it's my turn now. How about... <clears throat> what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Eh? 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 Center torso. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mech, go down the hole. <laughs> Their mechs are moving real slow. That... Wow! Well, I think we have failed. Those guys, those guys were not ready for the big leagues. Mission failed. That was a um, an unlucky shot uh, for me. But, man, killed in action. I don't know if I can let Burger Time just die. I just reload. Free mission. <clears throat> Once more under the breaches. 
Apparently I said it again, Kira. Once more under the britches. Burger time out. <laughs> thing in the bay. Repair. Why was the blackjack not repaired? I don't know what was going on there. Yep, once more under the britches. Once more under the britches. That's just gonna be a thing. I can't control it. It's just a thing. It's what it is. Once more under the britches. <laughs> We're gonna have to come up with some sort of emote for under the britches. Because now, any time I'm playing a game where I want to say, once more, unto the breaches, my brain is going to force me to say, once more, under the breaches. Alright. Let's see if we can keep them alive this time. Yeah, burger time. Stay frosty. Coordinates received. Acknowledged. All righty, all righty. Uh Where do I want you, burger time? You're the one who died last time. Bring you over here. On my way. Enemy contact. On the move. I'm gonna still put me in an Overwatch position. <clears throat> Once more into the beaches. I'm going to take a walk in the woods. Once more into the sneeches. Um, Ready for orders. Some undercover work in a Dr. Seuss book. Moving out. Yeah, the Walden game. I guess if I. If I really knew anything about the Walden book, or like on, on Walden Pond, or anything about like uh, American classical literature at all, What's up, boss? I might find that game more interesting. <laughs> but um, really not my style of literature too much. These people can't shoot. I think they purposely gave them bad aim. Thankfully, the bad guys can't shoot either. Alright. Alright. Left leg destroyed already, wow. Good times here.
All right. Wait, they're in a flea? Oh, that's like the tiniest mech. Welcome to Transcendentalism talk. Um, I mean, if you need a person who knows absolutely a nothing about Transcendentalism, then I'm your person. So if you need somebody on the show that knows nothing about it, here I am. <laughs> Hostile eliminated. All right, all right, all right, Guano. Yeah, uh, it's a cocktail show, right? Reporting. Critical hit. Yes, Commander. Order acknowledged. Probably be targeting the urban mech, but Target locked. oh, come on, you couldn't even hit the flea. Need to do better than that if you're gonna protect this place. Hashtag spoilers. Yeah. It's under development. I'm also, um, I have a thing coming up. If the flea can shoot fire, the flea has a flamethrower? Honestly, that makes a lot of sense. Um, yes, Commander. So I have a thing that will be coming up. I don't have dates exactly. I haven't been told that I can't say anything. Uh, so I will say something vague. I will be... Um, Part of an upcoming D and D podcast series. What was I supposed to do differently? They were fine, and one lucky shot took them out. Well, I guess I will be doing that mission once again, but not on stream because it is basically going to be time to end the stream now. Um, Q times will be live shortly, uh, but in the meantime, we're just gonna chat for a minute. Um, found a book on Amazon, Cocktails for D&D, Dungeon Meister, 75 epic RPG cocktail recipes to shake up your campaign. Neat. Um, but yeah, so as I was saying, um, will be taking part in a podcast um well it's not D, &D exactly i think i think we're going to be doing um powered by the apocalypse monster of the week at least initially um so that's something that's going to be coming up but yeah um uh live play ttrpg podcast that i will be taking part in Mute this site. Loud. Uh, let me go over to twitch.tv slash few times and kind of monitor when they go live so that we can raid over there once they do go live. Uh, but until then, I'm going to um, start my little thank yous for the uh, evening. Um, so we had... Uh, let's see, we started off, wait a minute, Portico, shenanigans, an hour before we went live, Lord Portico cheered 500 bits, thank you for that, delayed by a half hour tonight, 
Oh, let me check. I did not know that. Um, <laughs> thanks, Chandra. I think I just got the news. Um, I... Yeah, so half hour. So um, we can continue playing if you want. Uh, I could do... Uh, I could do something fun. I mean, not that this game isn't fun, but if you all would prefer, I can hop into something else where we won't be like in the middle of a mission when it comes time to raid. Um, so what... Do you all think? Let me get to the point where I can actually exit this. Because I could hop into Valheim for a half hour or so if you want, if you would enjoy that. Um. <clears throat> or I could continue uh, trying to save these um, kids that keep getting center torso shot. But either way, um, if I'm going for another half hour so that we can still raid into queue times, I do need to take a quick break and run to the restroom. And I suggest that you get some new beverages and take a restroom break yourself. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the Be Right Back screen. Uh, if you have thoughts on whether I should continue with Battletech or hop into Valheim for, for like a half hour or so, uh, pop those in chat. Um, it would really help because otherwise I will just have to decide. Um, but uh, I will see you all very shortly. Uh, get some snacks, beverages, uh, run to the restroom, and um, yeah, take advantage of that bio break while I have a bio break.
Okay, I am back. Um, and I don't know. Um, so yeah, there's a change in music. Um, so I reloaded the window that I have my preview in, and the significant delay that I was getting is gone. So if you refresh your um, browser, if you're getting a delay, you may lose the delay. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's a possibility. Um, whatever happened with that internet blip earlier seems to not really have been much of an issue since then. Um, we'll see. Uh, hopefully it's gone and stays gone. Um, but yes, I am going to be uh, finishing out the stream just tooling around in Valheim, um, which means I need to update my stream over here. Uh, Valheim. Bonus. Valheim. I uh, saw those bits, Portico. <laughs> I heard them, um, but I was typing the word bonus, the words bonus Valheim. Um, uh, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so that should be updated now to Valheim. Bits for science. Thank you, Lord Portico, for the hundred bits with the melting snowman narwhal. I love the melting snowman narwhal. Um, anyway, uh, we have some Valheim, which I think if I do this, it should come up on screen. I hope, I hope. Valheim! Um, I have streamed it some little bit before. This is Rogan. My Viking undead afterlife purgatory person? I don't know. Whatever. Um, this is Rogan. This is Rogenstad. Uh, you're, I'm not sure if you've seen Rogenstad. Um, this is the entrance to Rogenstad from town. So, Rogenstad. Uh, I do have a little dock out front here. Looking out on the water. Definitely not a Norse accent there. Uh, Rogenstad Doc. You're slightly concerned about the face hugger eggs? Melba! Thank you for the hundred bits! <laughs> um, so th this is the dock that I built. Um, where am I on food? Give me some decent stamina's. Um... Oh, and now it's raining. So, give you a little view here of the house. That I built. <gasps> For Shenana Science! Um, and when mi Midsummer came, they gave us the ability to make maypoles. So I have a few of them around the house. But uh, a little staircase to come up here, and then inside I have a little tavern with a bar with drake eggs, or dragon eggs, decorating the place because they're pretty and they glow. Uh, some tankards of ale, seating by the fire, trophies from one of the bo the from the first boss. And then, uh, so I have a, a Wraith Trophy up top here, and a Fenring Trophy, which is like a, like a weird wolf bird thing that shows up in the mountains at night. <laughs> yeah, dragon eggs! They kill you with fire instead of needing to kill them with fire! <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's, it's like a weird wolf, wolf bird man thing. Uh, so I have a, a trophy from one of those. 
And then, of course, they have a bar. And at the bar, or behind the bar, I have some potions of mead uh, and some mead making materials. And then above the bar, I have healing mead and stamina mead and poison. Poison resistance mead and frost resistance mead, as well as two fermenters that are ready to be harvested. Do not hug face huggers or dragons. Indeed, indeed so. Missing bar cudgel to break up fights. Uh, if you want a bar cudgel, you know, I've got this. <laughs> I think I can break up the fights with it pretty well. Um,. The doors are labeled as above and so below, and thank you for visiting. Um, as above goes upstairs, so below goes downstairs. Because I didn't want to just label them upstairs and downstairs. I have some beehives over there on the wall. And here is uh, my door. Marked Rogan Lord of Bits because shenanigans that I get up to in other streams. Uh, and my bedroom here with a nice central table with another dragon egg. Bed, a little throne just for myself. I have a, a desk to do work at filled with a personal chest that has some trophies in it. Some, I don't know what trophies, not trophies, some um, riches, treasures, treasures, that's the word I wanted. Um, this one has no use in the game. I destroyed a stone golem in the mountains and got five crystals that apparently do nothing as yet because this is still in, um, it's a public beta? Early release. Early release, not public beta. Uh, so this is above the little entry. I have this little balcony to look out at the water. With a sea serpent head. Um, another maypole up here with a little seating area to look out. So you can see over the wall to the little bit of meadows here. There's plains out here, um, the lighter green color. Um, plains are one of the most, or possibly the most dangerous biome in the game right now. And then beyond that is swamp. Um, but I'm far enough away that I don't tend to draw the monsters from the plain. On this side of the building, Another little seating area where you can look out at the little forested area here of the meadows. Down the stairs, back into the bar, and down the so below, a downright dragon egg infestation. I have done a little bit of exploration of the mountains, and they're one of the things you can collect there. Um, so here is my workshop. The maypoles give bonuses to comfort, so that's why there are so many of them. This is my workshop. My forge. My workbench. My supplies. There's a fire here with cooking stations. And underneath the entryway is this tiny little pond where occasionally a fish will spawn. And when it storms out, the water will get all the way up to here and then stop before this stone. <laughs> Mara would be proud. Yeah, this is my work, my workspace. You can see the iron beams holding up the stone floor above me. Um, so I can go out here. And there's this lovely little ravine where I can basically get all the stone I want because it spawns 
on these hillsides like this. And I can just come and pick up stone and it'll respawn in a, a certain period of time. Um, so yeah, I have basically an unlimited supply of stone, given enough time. But this is a, it's a fun game. I do a lot of exploration on my own, but uh, so this is the map. Um, you can see a lot of fog of war. A lot of places I have never been. Um, there's one place on here. I don't know how I've been there. There's this little island here of black forest that apparently I have been to. Presumably through a portal. But I don't have a label on it. So I don't know how I got there or what portal it was through. Uh, but otherwise... Most of this is foot travel, um, except the parts here on the water are when I've gone on sailing expeditions with other people because I'm not good at sailing the boats. Um, but yeah, we have the main island here. Main town is here. Uh, I fully explored this mountain here. I fully explored this mountain here. I fully explored these mountains, but I'm not going to show them off because there are secrets there that some people would prefer not be shown at the moment. And I have them marked with tags on my map, and I don't want to give away their secrets. Um, but also the island that I'm on, I have explored... The tiny patch of plains, which my gosh is dangerous. Part of the swampland here, all of this black forest, all of this swamp down to here. I've actually gone overland from my place down along the coast through the swamp. I built myself a boat or a raft to cross here and then ran along the ground to town, which took a while. But, I can show off town real quick. There's not really a ton of stuff to do in the game um, with the short amount of time that we have, other than, like, show off stuff. So that's what I'm doing. Hi, Wraith! How are you? Because if I went out to try and do, like, some exploration or run around in the wilderness, I would be out there and there's no way I would make it back before it was time to raid over to queue times when they go live. So, it's a sleepy day, yeah? Alright. So, now we are in town, which is the only portal that I have. The portal to town. This is the barracks, where anybody who's on this server can create a room. Um, this server happens to be the Streampunks server, um, which you have to be a member of their Patreon to uh, gain access to. Um, but it is the one where I've done most of my playing of the game. Uh, oh, the bonfire is not lit. We have an outhouse in town, um, which is literally a, an outhouse. There's uh, little benches with holes, little sayings. Oh, I should sit down, I suppose. What do you mean the merchant doesn't sell gach? What do you what do you mean for fishing? Something 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 Death Star. What in hell is an aluminum falcon? It's these have been here for a while. I'm gonna show them off for people who aren't in the game. Something profound. Not profound. Hmm. 
Yarrow makes a gold, I work the mine. That's why I do my business on the dockyard's line. Uh, please wash your hands away from the outhouse. Also, there is a little bit of Easter egg down here. Where, if you look in, there is stuff below. Which is a cute little Easter egg. Um, it, it's a pile of stones, but from inside, it gives the right impression. I don't think I have any wood to put on there. But I can grab some and light up the bonfire. Someone had too much fiber. <laughs> it's very solid. Uh, very, very solid. Uh, grab some wood. I'll show this in a second here. And <clears throat> I will start into the thank yous and ending t uh, talk soon, because uh, it'll be very soon time for us to um, raid over. Hi, Adventures of Tony! How are you today? What other bonfire? Huh? I missed something. But anyway, uh, Tony, there's there's no such thing as late for somebody's stream. Um, but thank you for coming by. It's nice to see you. We have a dock with various boats. Oh, this head. Uh, the serpent heads. <laughs> We actually ended up going long because um, uh, Blood of the Void got delayed tonight. So I'm just filling time until Blood of the Void starts. Um, so docks, uh, coal production and metal smelting, portals to various important locations. Industrial honey production. Farmland. See, this is Ulf, right? Uh, I think his name was Ulf. Here lies Ulf. May Odin lead him to glory. Um, so a little cairn with a skeleton in it that was here and preserved by the community. Also Ulf's house, which is a little workshop. And here, we'll be able to see better inside <clears throat> the longhouse, where we've got some feasting and mead production. It's always fun. Oh, <clears throat> I can totally do a hat, a hat trick for you. Um, wait, they're canceling the stream? I shall take a look. I don't know. I don't see any... Well, there's an announcement. Tonight's episode of Blood of the Void has indeed been cancelled. Um, that just got posted into the Stream Punks Discord. Um, so... Due to epic levels of exhaustion and unforeseen circumstances, we are canceling tonight's stream. Sorry to leave you all hanging. We'll be back next month with more Klingon adventuring. So, um, that looks like that's not who we will be raiding tonight. Um, that is totally fine. Um, but we are already half an hour past our normal end time. I'm going to go ahead and... Do the thank yous. We'll find somebody to raid. Um, I will do my hydrate and my stretch. Yeah, I just have to keep playing now until it's time for Clear Skies on Monday. Is that what you're saying, Portico? <laughs> Stream.
stretching in this hat is weird. Anyway, <laughs> um, I have a lot of thank yous to do tonight. So let me go ahead and do them. <clears throat> I have to start by saying thank you to Lord Portico, who dropped 500 bits right at the beginning. Um, and then Xanderific showed up with a raid of 27 people. Thank you so much, Xanderific. Um, and then Portico gifted a gift sub to Lauren themself. Uh, and we had a couple new follows. Uh, and then Kira ha gave 100 bits and Portico gave 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 more bits. And then Stephen Kill came by with a party of 49 raiders. Um, Melba renewed for your fifth month subscription and then Portico another 100 bits and then Melba for 100 bits and then just now Wraith for 100 bits and Melba for 150 more bits. Thank you all so, so very much. Um, <laughs> um, it has been uh, absolutely spectacular. Also, during the stream, we gave away a copy of Battle Tech and Hannah um, was our winner. So, Hannah, hopefully, Kira has already reached out to you via Whisper to give you that Steam code. But congratulations on winning the copy of Battle Tech. Um, we also spun the wheel, and starting next Monday, we will be playing Riven. Um, and Carto will take up yet more of the wheel when it comes time to spin again. Um, so, Mondays. Uh, until we finish playing Riven, uh, which probably will only take a month or slightly more than that, um, will be Riven. And yes, Chandra, thank you for bringing that over. I did catch that info. I'm just looking now to see who we're going to raid. Um, would be a good person to raid. This is. Yeah. Uh, it looks like Malika is playing um, Rogue Book on Hyper's channel. So I think we might head over there. Oh, and uh, Tony's also adding Wingspan to the wheel. So I will add that onto the wheel for next time. Um. So, not the best to play for an entire month. Well, uh, I will definitely put it on the wheel, and we'll play it for whatever time seems appropriate, and then we'll spin the wheel again. Uh, so, I, I will put that on for you, Tony. Thank you for redeeming your masks to add that game to the wheel. Um, I am going to go ahead and set up the raid. We will be heading over to Hyper RPG, um, where it looks like Malika is currently playing something called Rogue Book. And the title says, what is this? So um, Hyper is a, a great streaming company and they um, are a fun time. So definitely when you get over there, say hello. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do this. Um, if you've got my emotes, you can copy that and just paste it in when we get over there. Um, so you'll have the, the raid message. Otherwise, just... Um, whatever hello emotes you've got would be wonderful. Um, thank you everybody who stopped by today. Again, thank you to the Raiders and the people who cheered. Thank you so much, Kira and Chandra, um, for your support as mods. Uh, I couldn't, really couldn't do this without the mods. Um, and yeah, I will see you all Wednesday, um, at 2.30 p.m. for the next Archival Adventures where it will be the last time for now where I'm looking at ornithology materials before we jump into some barbecue-related stuff next month. Um, thank you all for stopping by, and I will see you all later.